Hello everyone. Today I'll be introducing Axiom. It's a sparse GPU accelerated fluid solver for computer graphics and visual effects. I've done a lot of work to get it as fast and fully featured as possible and now it's finally ready to be released. In this video I'm going to give a brief overview of the tools and go over some of the more specific features that make it different from other fluid solvers you may have used. You can download it at the link below for my website and currently it supports side effects as Houdini. The first part is the main settings. This is where you can find typical solver settings like start frame, substeps, and division size. You'll also find a parameter called voxels. The biggest thing to keep in mind is your GPU's memory. One gigabyte will get you around eight and a half million voxels. So if you have an eight gigabyte GPU, you can send somewhere around 60 million voxels at a time. However, depending on what other things you have loaded in your viewport, it may be less. You can leave the number of voxels at the default 60 million and it will automatically increase this limit if it needs to. If the solver can't allocate any more memory on your GPU, it will fall back to your CPU which uses system memory, which you probably have more of anyway. Here you can also change what device you want to use. For example, I can change it from GPU to CPU or choose a device by name. Under sourcing, I can control the global scale of all fields being sourced and change things like the source mode. You can think of this list of parameters as the list of field types you can source. If you don't see the field in this list, you can't source it. Besides VDBs, the solver also comes with a source shape node. The advantage is that it's faster than VDBs, but limited in their simple shapes. You can, however, add noise to break it up. In the simulation tab, you can shape and define the look and behavior of your simulation. All the typical settings such as buoyancy, dissipation, and turbulence can be found here along with their advanced controls at the bottom. The combustion tab will let you create pyrotechnic effects such as explosions. By sourcing in fuel, it can ignite and add density, temperature, and an expanding pressure force to your simulation. The output tab lets you control what fields get output, and you can speed up the simulation by turning off fields you don't need. You can also visualize the sparse data structure. The settings tab gives you more advanced controls over the solver. These settings usually won't need to be changed, but it's good to know they're there.